Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all. What's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any. And what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates. Leave out the rest and practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below with the link to my website, spirituallygoldie.com, for you to view the different options for readings. So, you know, it's, it's interesting. We have the Page of Swords, Queen of Swords here. Hmm. Something hurt something really hurt and it, it left you really upset too so I see that you you may have felt like forced to kind of walk away from something like you were forced to leave someone behind based on their actions based on what they said and yeah breaking a commitment because you decided to trust yourself and listen to your intuition about this the thing is i'm seeing it's not over six of cups temperance it does look like someone's coming back around here message in a bottle there is a message coming in or you may or like this person has been seeing signs of you and I'm seeing mending. They're wanting to mend a relationship here with you. Right now, I see you like really taking time for yourself, resting, healing, meditating, uh, taking a moment to pause, to slow down, and to take a break. So I see you in this energy of like taking, doing that for yourself here to regain your power that magician remembering remembering your power remembering who you are and who you were before this happened before this person um came in like remembering like oh yeah i really am capable and i really am um able to manifest and create big things for myself but there is a new beginning here for you where you're starting to see things differently and I see you doing whatever it takes to maintain the power in your hands it's like you're ready to fight you're ready you're ready to to ignite a flame and Fight for your success, for your victory. It's like you're not willing, you're doing whatever it, it takes in your power here to, to create, or I, I'm hearing comeback or comeback season. Like there is some sort of like major comeback. You're making some sort of comeback here after after tears, after hurt, after pain, you're making a huge comeback now. Right now, there or there is a moment that's coming up where you are going to be resting, where there is going to be a pause, but it's going to be necessary, it's going to be needed for this, this comeback because it's going to take a lot of energy. Okay? There's something that, yeah, I see you like really wanting to create big changes and abundance in your life and not wanting to stay stuck or stagnant with this empress. This is knowing, like love, really loving yourself and knowing your worth, knowing your value. 
focusing on the things that truly um, bring you bring you the most happiness and growth and peace. So Ace of Pentacles, I do see a new job or what is this Ace of Pentacles? Money coming in? Something new? Focusing on something new? Okay, yeah. Whatever this is, it's part of your purpose. You're being, there is some, some something is being given to you. There is some sort of offer coming in that's part of your purpose. Hmm. Okay. Someone's wanting to, like, offer you something, invest into you, make a commitment to you. And it's, like, part of your purpose. But then we got over here someone who's trying to um, mend and heal things with you. Temperance could be a Sagittarius, uh, but doesn't have to be. And literally, it's like as you're regaining your power or your confidence, it's in that same timeline. So, this person is feeling like they need to be patient right now. But this person is feeling like they they want to create some peace here. Yeah, the star as well. Eight of Wands, they're taking action towards you or they're traveling towards you. They're coming in with a lot of passion or fire energy. A lot of communication or there's like communication picking up, message in a bottle. All of a sudden, like, there's a lot more coming from them. Nine of Cups. They may tell you that you're their wish fulfillment. You're what they want. They look at you as an empress. They're seeing you as, like, the best it can get. But something is like, I'm hearing like self-love that just keeps coming up where maybe you didn't love yourself or this person saw that you didn't like truly love yourself at some point. Hmm. But they still see you as um, the empress. They still see you as the best. And someone who's extremely beautiful or handsome. The Ace of Swords, you, there's, now you know something. I see, I see now you, you could be like celebrating something or coming together with friends and this could be that timeline that they're coming towards you, but they're coming back. They're coming back because they felt like the grass wasn't greener on the other side, or they made a mistake. Yeah, this person feels like they made a mistake. That there's something that they're intending to cut out. to cut out of their life or reject hmm. tell me about this message blessed it's going to be unexpected they're, they're making a decision to go for what they want and build something stable with you. But the thing is, like, this person coming back around, some of you may just end up feeling trapped or stuck all over again with this person, Eight of Swords. Or feeling like one minute they're, like, all in, and then the next minute they're, like, not... 
Yeah, because I see you feeling like, yeah, this is like, some of you may end up feeling stuck again in this situation or feeling like this person is re rejecting you. person is maybe has like other things or burdens they're, they may come with some, some baggage here that I see them communicating to you or being honest to you about but I, I just see you as like you're in this position where you are an empress or like once they're not in your life you're you're here and then when they come back back into your life it's almost like they're kind of like pulling you down you know or like I'm just hearing you can do better and I'm hearing triggers and abandonment so something about this person feels like they trigger the abandonment in you which is like a sign in itself about um, what is going to be best for the long term for yourself. Queen of Swords as a vice is like them telling you it may be best to make a head over heart decision about this. So I'm seeing the numbers 52, 15, 24, 6, and 5. So those numbers, they could be related to birthdays or special days. I'm seeing the letters M, B, T, N, U, O. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. Um... There's another message they're saying though, and it's um, this is like part of your purpose because it's like what it's part of your journey to your breakthrough. Hmm. It's part of your journey to a breakthrough moment for you. Breaking through or breaking free. So yeah, but with that said, I hope you have a blessed and amazing rest of your day. Bye.